it's been an intense week. So um, I got nothing really planned this weekend. Uh, the only thing I really have planned is an appointment at the barbershop at 12 because it really needs some work. I, I don't know. I can't do anything with my hair at the moment. So and also when I'm not when I'm feeling kind of stressed or like I have the feeling I need to um, relax a bit. Getting a haircut is something that really helps because doing something for yourself like getting a new haircut or getting new clothes or anything like that i feel like that is time to spend you really spend on yourself I got showered and I have my bowl of oats because it's cold now and I don't want a very cold smoothie so oats is back oats with banana and I, I love oats but it also is very tiring for me I don't know when I eat oats it's just I basically after that I get uh, very sleepy so but I have still an hour to go to until uh, I need to go to the barber so that's fine and talking about that I think I'm going to walk to the barber which is about a 45 minutes walk um, because I really need some fresh air and I realized that when I got extremely ang angry because I tripped over a bucket which I basically put there myself. I had a bucket over there with some leftover water. I had some clothes in there because they smelled and there was leftover water in the bucket and I just basically stepped into the bucket and then I tripped over it and it got really, it was an explosion of anger. I I ha I yeah it was it was nice and uh, I've had that since I was a kid that sometimes I just have I can get very very angry and that is basically because I cannot regulate my anger uh, during I, I basically build up my anger until there's too much anger and then I explode and that is something that I've been dealing with basically my whole life I think and um, but I hadn't had it hadn't happened to me in a while, so um, that I, I realized that I uh, <laughs> I need I, I need some fresh air. Absolutely love these, and um, besides Christmas, we in the Netherlands we also have a celebration that is called Sinterklaas, which is uh, he basically looks a bit like Santa Claus, but he isn't. But it's like yeah, Sinterklaas. It's a Dutch tradition, and with that, there people or we <laughs> we eat. Uh, paper note of kruidnoten, but it's only September and the celebration is on the 5th of December. But these are already in the shops, and I don't really mind. I love them, and I especially love these. It's it's a uh, oh no. okay. just basically flour, sugar. Yeah. There's not a lot in it. I just really like them. I could eat this whole bag right now. So 
so. Mm. A few moments later. So, okay, but that's not <laughs> back to the point of the video. <laughs> back to um, to the topic. I'm gonna ask: Is there a scientific proof or evidence that there is a correlation between the use of testosterone hormone replacement therapy and an increase in anger or aggression? Research on testosterone hormone replacement therapy, HRT, in trans men shows mixed findings when it comes to anger or aggression. Some studies suggest that testosterone can lead to, to temporary mood changes, including irritability or increased aggression. But these effects are not universal and often depend on dosage, individual sensitivity, and pre-existing personality traits. However, most studies indicate that for trans men undergoing HRT, testosterone Testosterone generally improves mood, reduces anxiety, and increases energy levels. If there is an increase in irritability or aggression, it's usually short-lived and tends to stabilize over time as hormone levels become balanced. Overall, there's no conclusive scientific proof that testosterone therapy inherently causes significant or long-term increases in anger or aggression. If someone experiences these symptoms, it's essential to discuss them with a healthcare provider to adjust treatment or monitor other factors that could be contributing. Yeah, and that was exactly my thought and what I thought I knew about it. Because um, I read some, I don't know where, a couple of months ago, I read something about people who were scared to start testosterone because of uh, possible anger issues they would get and it's something I haven't really looked into I have had anger issues in my past I but that's what I said in the, this morning it's based on my I build up anger I, I can't express anger very well so I build it up and I it sometimes explodes uh, at, a, at a time where I'm alone and when something really not that big happens, I, I, can't, I, I tend to explode and then I get really frustrated and anger, angry and I can basically um, throw something. I, I, I one time completely demolished my monitor of my computer. It's something that it, maybe if you look at me like this, it doesn't. I don't really look very a person that does that, but when I'm like building up on stress and also on anger it's just builds up builds up builds up and sometimes there is just an explosion and i've 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 learned how to deal with that uh, but sometimes it just happens but i i immediately realize uh, in the moment itself is that i shouldn't hurt myself that much <laughs> so <laughs> don't be in a moment where i'm like um if for example that bucket i uh, threw the bucket away this morning and I was able to, um, I, I could use my fist to um, hit the wall, but I immediately thought, no, that would that would hurt a lot. So I just basically used my flat hand and just bump against the wall and not that hard, but it was just some kind of, I, I needed to get it out. But I immediately realized or know in my head that I shouldn't use a fist or I shouldn't use anything that would harm me and in the past I've done that but now I'm I'm more controlled like that and I know it's not a solution but um, it is uh, my way I'm, I'm learning how to deal with it but that's not the main topic it hasn't increased uh, with the use of testosterone I see an image where someone is like before the use of testosterone is such a sweet and and lovely person and when they start testosterone they're just like basically one one aggression bomb <laughs> and I've, I've never heard of that and I can't really imagine that as well so but maybe I, I did felt when I when my testosterone level was a bit higher uh, especially when I used the gel and I used a lot of the gel at one time to see if my testosterone level would increase I just felt like a bit uncomfortable like a bit like I'm, I was a bit like um, how do I say that? What is onrustig in het Engels? Onrustig vertaald naar restless in het Engels. Restless, <laughs> right, thank you. Dat had ik ook kunnen weten. Uh, I was, was restless and like a bit like agitated, like... But not extremely anger. And uh, 
the time when I felt that way, I talked about it with a specialist and we also noticed that my testosterone level was pretty high, so we lowered it then a bit. So if you feel like restless or just a bit agitated more, then it's a good thing to talk to your doctor or your medical specialist about it because it could have something to do with um, with the hormone, with the testosterone. But all in all, I haven't noticed a difference in anger management or, or anger or aggression or, um, before or after testosterone. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't. It's just, I was thinking that it, it did, it, 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 it reduced my anxiety because I don't really want to call it anxiety, but it's really the, the uh, um, I actually don't know how to word this well. I can't even do that in, in Dutch, so it's, it's my way of... Um, with the start of testosterone, I think I felt more at home in my body, and with that came a sort of... Um, like, it's okay, and that caused my uh, if if there was anger it, it lowered my anger it lowered my frustration and actually I don't know if that has something to do with testosterone but just basically the fact that I learned about more about who I am and what I have been holding back for 30 30 years more than 30 years so but I don't know if, if anyone else has, has experiences with anger anger issues, um, but I haven't. So I, I think I was a bit scared of it because I read about it. And because of my anger issues in the past, I was like, oh, I hope I, I don't become one, one big giant ball of aggression if I can word it that way, <laughs> um, like uh, aggression all the time. <laughs> uh, but I talked about, I feel like I, no, it's not, it's not something that hormone replacement therapy or testosterone would do, I think. And I feel like the most important thing is that um, for me, that I'm learning now, if, that, I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about it, I'm learning is, that I learned to express my anger much in a much earlier state than like I should not build it up. I just find it really difficult to express my anger in at a moment where it's like not that intense and when I'm around other people. I'm holding it in and I build it up and then when I'm home alone I tend to get it out. And that's something I'm learning, and yeah, it's not. I'm, I don't have an issue, a, a, a real issue. I'm not. I'm not like one. Like I said, it's it's something I'm I'm focused on. I'm learning, and uh, I, I just see. Oh God, I see just an image that you guys now think that when I come home and the camera is off, that I'm just one. <laughs> <laughs> one big, <laughs> like I said, ball of aggression <laughs> that I, I walk through my house and just smash everything. <laughs> but no, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that at all. <laughs> no. And then when I'm, when I'm done, <laughs> when I'm done with, with being angry, I just buy my, my paper notes and sit on the couch and just eat my paper notes. So paper notes, paper notes, I don't know how it's called in English. It doesn't matter. I think I've talked enough. I think um, based on what ChatGPT Chat GPT is not always right, but based on what that came out of that um, and my own experience is there could be a correlate there could be a correlation, but I don't see here a lot of people really having an issue with it. So don't be afraid, and if you feel a change in emotions or whatever, talk to uh, your medical specialist or to your uh, a psychiatrist or uh, a psychologist that's going to be it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye